All right, let's um, have another look at the exposure sheet. Or really, actually, in this case, I want to go more into the frame painter. Um, but uh, in order to do that, I need to load a basic animation. Just a sequence of two or three frames. I do have one available. I will just load that right here. It's a little cowboy animation. This is not really the animation. This is just the uh, keyframes, if you want to call it that. Uh, the keyframes contains uh, three or four views of our little cowboy hero here. And if we view it in film strip mode, we can see there's indeed only four of them. We can click on any of those. And as we click those, or as we scrub through that, you see each of these frames. And what we'd like to do now is do an animation and um, we will use the exposure sheet. Uh, we have it here already. In fact, in the exposure sheet, we can go to the frame painter. That's really the tool that I want to use right now. So let's go to the frame painter. And uh, our new animation will need, let's say, 66 frames. And we will populate into that new sequence that we see down here any of these frames that we already have. So let's say I'm taking this first one, and this is where our cowboy is doing the intros, asks a question. And then at this point, frame number 12 will have um, perhaps this view come in. Let's zoom in uh, to the side here, have a couple more. And then, of course, we go back to asking another question. This is basically sort of a sequence of frames that we can use to build a dialogue. Uh, then we have this frame go in here. And you see how we can uh, perhaps have the last one right here as well. And of course, if you have a high resolution screen with more disk, uh, more uh, screen real estate, uh, you're going to be spending less time scrolling across here. At the very end, maybe we'll go to the last frame. There you go. So we got our 66 frames. The last one is number 65. The first one is number zero. And I'm going to go with the wiggle hold. And um, let's set these uh, parameters a little bit extreme here, higher numbers, just to see it a little bit better and shoot it. And so as we're shooting it, we're not going to have 12 frames that are static and another 15 frames that are static of the next uh, pose. Instead, each of those will be wiggled. And that's what we see in this rendering on the second side here. The second step, the, f the second phase is doing the developing with the wiggle warp filter that we released in 5.0. And with that, the whole image appears to be alive and breathing. Um, and that adds a nice little cartoony animation to it. So um, you can actually use that with a single frame. You can take a photograph um, and, for instance, a headshot of yourself. And uh, this one frame can then act as uh, the basis for a nice little animation that you can easily turn into a looping uh, 20 frames animation to make some really cool stuff with it. So here's what we just created. If I play this, now you see it's kind of wiggling around. And of course, we might need to crop off the bottom a little bit or perhaps make it less jumpy. There's a little bit of experimenting that we may need to do and fine tune those parameters. But that gives you the idea, basically, of what you can do with um, that new tool, the Frame Painter, to quickly create an animation that uh, was derived from just a couple of frames. Of course, the trick now, and that's where the exposure sheet also comes in really handy, the trick would now be to actually add the audio for this uh, dialogue. Uh, and on top of that, to change the lips, change the mouth based on what it is they're saying. That's really what the mouth plugin or the exposure sheet is all about is that as you record audio or lo load an existing WAV file, uh, you can then populate uh, a sequence of uh, appearances uh, based on a cartoon or a sketch style that uh, allows you to actually make it look like the mouth is changing to say those sounds that you hear. And that's that for the Frame Painter.